Hey guys, welcome back to another pharmacy related video. I'm Sujisha Arun. Today I'm going to talk with you all about the pharmacy professions in Canada. So in a pharmacy setting, there are three professionals here. The first one is a registered pharmacist, registered pharmacy technician and a pharmacy assistant. As you know that uh, pharmacist and pharmacy technician are a regulated profession here that is you need a license to work in order to become a pharmacist and a pharmacy technician. At the end of this video you will get familiar with uh, the licensing requirements, their jobs and responsibilities as well as the salary. So without any further ado let's get started. So first one is pharmacist. As you know, pharmacist is the head of the pharmacy. So, so when you come here, you need to pass the examinations conducted by the Pharmacy Examining Board of Canada, primarily followed by the provincial requirements in order to become a registered pharmacist here. Now, let me tell you all about the duties and responsibilities of a registered pharmacist in Canada. This one is patient care and therapeutic drug related problem and you have to check the appropriateness of the prescription. And second one is you can provide the patient counseling for the patients and you can even recommend therapies once you go through the prescriptions. Also, you can involve in resolving the drug therapy problems like drug interaction, side effects and therapy monitoring. And you can also access and recommend therapies for minor ailments. Okay. The pharmacists are responsible for narcotics ordering receiving verbal narcotic prescription as well as receiving verbal prescription orders to independent compounding of sterile and non-sterile products and final checks for the blister packs and here the pharmacists can also do the schedule two drug recommendations and you can demonstrate the medical devices and, uh, like in uh, alberta provinces you can additionally prescribe the medications for the patients once you go through a prescriptions but in order to prescribe in order to become a prescribing pharmacist in alberta you have to like get another certifications for that once you become a registered pharmacist okay in addition to that the becoming a pharmacist in canada once you go through a provincial requirements the final step of this provincial requirement is getting a liability insurance so getting a liability insurance is must for a pharmacist here so these are the duties of a pharmacist here in canada and the average salary of a pharmacist in canada is 47 dollar per hour second one is registered pharmacy technician how to become a registered pharmacy technician the basic qualification is a two-year diploma program uh, there is also a two-year diploma program pharmacy technician course here in Canada also and I don't know about whether our D farm course is eligible to be write the pharmacy technician exam or not you can directly check that with the PEBC website okay then how to become a certified pharmacy technicians once you have done the document evaluation through the PEBC you have to write the qualifying examinations conducted by the PEBC specifically for the pharmacy technicians and once you pass all the examinations you can register with the province you want to practice and there are uh, and there will be uh, other provincial requirements also like passing the language examination passing the jurisprudence examination and you have to go through certain bridging programs conducted by the NAPRA so these are the licensing requirements in order to become a pharmacy technician and once you pass all these requirements you are ready to become a pharmacy technician and you can work as a pharmacy technician in hospital or in community setting now let's go through the duties and responsibilities of a pharmacy technician so the main duties and responsibilities of a pharmacy technician is solving the technical problems like prescription receiving, data entry, preparing, labeling, packaging, dispensing and insurance codes for billing. Now pharmacy technicians can demonstrate medical devices only for the OTC devices like blood glucose monitor, blood pressure monitor, inhaler, peak flow meter, EpiPen etc. And additionally, the pharmacy technician can initiate a prescription for specified conditions or circumstances. Here also, once you go through the provincial requirements, you have to get a liability insurance in order to become a registered pharmacy technician. So liability insurance is must for regulated pharmacy technician also. The average salary for a pharmacy technician is 
$24 per hour. And the third profession is the pharmacy assistant. As the name shows, it's all about assisting the pharmacist and the pharmacy uh, technicians in order to run the pharmacy. You can start your profession as a pharmacy assistant once you land here in Canada. So basically there is no uh, like educational requirements but I have seen many colleges here in Canada now offering a pharmacy assistant course lasting for six months to one year. So as a pharmacy professional you don't need such educational uh, things and uh, you can directly go through the pharmacy and uh, ask to the pharmacist like you want to volunteer in the pharmacy and uh, with that experience you can apply for other jobs for pharmacy assistant so getting an experience is the basic thing in order to work here okay and uh, now going to the duties and responsibilities of a pharmacy assistant to receive the prescription and processing some data entry and of course documentation and additionally there is no liability insurance needed for a pharmacy assistant and the average salary is $17 per hour that's all about today's video I hope you guys find this video useful please let me know your suggestions in the comment section as well and uh, yeah see you all soon in the next video take care and bye bye